Man, like, like I said, with, with guys like him, we have to be good with our rush lane. When we got fast guys like him that can get on the edge of defense, you know, he make a lot of plays downfield just by getting outside of the um, pocket. So we have to be on the same page, and our rush lane have to be coordinated. Yeah, for having done these practices last week, was it tough to have to come back and do it again a second? Like, it just seemed like the intensity wasn't quite what it was last week. No, it's, it's football. I mean, if that's, if that's the case, we'll go in and watch film. But, you know, we play a game when the season starts next uh, two weeks from now. We play a game each and every week, so uh, we can't have them slow starts. We got, like I said a couple weeks ago, we have to be able to start fast, finish stronger. So that's our mindset. You know, we go in and watch film. Is some stuff we need to start faster. If that's the case, and put the intensity up, you know, I'm sure we'll come out tomorrow a better day. How do you feel like you guys have progressed over these three weeks, Joe? I, I feel like we guys starting to know, um, you know, our identity on our team. You know, everyone starting to figure out what's our kind of chemistry going to be here. You know, we want a lot of guys, especially on the defense side flying around, knowing what to do and having fun with it. So I think everybody just getting on the same page and everyone, you know, buying into, you know, what Coach Rave and all the coaches, you know, preaching to us each and every day. I think it's, it's, it's only going to um, get better. What's the next step for the guys who are still trying to prove themselves over the next few days? I mean, that's it. I mean, come out here each and every day to willing to, do, to learn, you know. Um, you know, each and every day I come out here, I want to see what can I do better than I did yesterday. So we, they should take that same mindset, you know, especially being a young guy because, I mean, I see like with um, Campbell, uh, Chase, you know, he, he was out there with the first group today making calls and punching the ball out, stuff like that. You know, that just improvement, you know. Um, he takes the coaching and actually put it into practice, and I, I'm sure that's what the coach is looking for. It's a bougie part of town now. Cliff's doing all right for himself, that's for sure. Paradise. Huh? There's a reason they call it Paradise. Yeah, it's Paradise. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's nice. Like, they, you know how we have cell phone towers out here? Their cell phone towers like are fake cactuses or cacti. So like you can't even tell that you're just next to a cell phone tower, you're just kind of living. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's the biggest trap question I've ever heard. No. <laughs> you guys, you got a sweet, like one of those tropical hats you buy on the beach of Mexico. Like he looks, looks like he's just really just adapting and coming into him, his own self, you know? That looks like he's really doing his thing. How do you feel like the energy was today? It seemed a little bit different from the Tampa Bay game. Yeah, it was, just, it, it was a little different. This is a, it was, it was a unique practice today. Um, I thought uh, us as an O-line came out, you know, up and down and then uh, picked it up in the middle. And then it was, you know, we, we got to be better. And it's kind of one of those things you can't take these days for granted. So we got to keep going. Is there a heightened sense of urgency because this is the last week of the preseason? It's a high, heightened sense of urgency because the season comes fast. And when you're here, you're prepared or you're not, as I found out last year. Two minutes of disjointed line everywhere. Unhappy with the, with the day overall based on that. Yeah, I think I just uh, alluded to the fact that we had to be better. And so uh, two minute, uh, I, you know, when I'm in, I'm playing one position. And so I need to make sure that I take care of my own job. I'll have to see the film and see how everybody else did um, and make sure that um, we clean up any errors we have. The good news is, you know, there's time. And uh, that's what these joint practices are for, is getting out there and, and getting going and um, understanding where you're at. In some ways, facing another team and having some of the struggles today, can that be, I don't know if it's an eye opener, but is it? I wouldn't. Let's not. I would not build this up into too much. It was a practice. I think we did some really good things, and there's some things we need to work on. There really wasn't. It wasn't like we were just like it was a massacre, like the Boston massacre or something like that. And we're just standing in a line waiting to shoot our muskets and getting shot first. Like it's not. It's a little history lesson for you. Um, and it wasn't that. So like, let's just call it what it is. It was an up and down day. The guys had some good plays. The guys had some bad plays back and forth. And overall, like. You know, we just got to keep on keeping on. It's the, at this point in camp, it's not about, like, we have to do everything perfect. It's like, how do you fix one little thing and then move on to the next? We just had to work on uh, plastering and staying on our guy as, as uh, Kyler scramble around and run around. And I feel like it was good for us to work our eyes and techniques. Caleb saw that you got a couple one-on-one -on -one opportunities with, with DeAndre Hopkins. Just being able to go up, up against one of the best receivers in the league, just how maybe how beneficial could that experience be? I mean, I feel like it's extremely beneficial to be able to work with guys that have proven to be elite players in the NFL and then to be able to make plays on them, you know, is a, a good confidence booster and just, you know, the, some motivation to keep pushing and working hard going in the right direction. Caleb, you mentioned kind of working your eyes with Kyler, Kyler Murray. What set of challenges does he bring guarding him? Uh, he's just very elusive. Um, you know, he's very good at extending plays and, um, you know, you, you might have to cover a little longer than usual. So just being able to keep your eyes on your man and keep your feet hot and, um, you know, guard your guy until the whistle blows is just a, um, a good, good reps. Beneficial for the quarterbacks you will be facing this year that are mobile? 
Uh, yeah, I feel like the game is, you know, we have a lot of great quarterbacks that are mobile and can extend plays with their feet. And so it, this was this was a great opportunity for us to, you know, get some live action at it. Yes, but um, I still got tomorrow, so, you know, I'm going to come out and do what I can to have a good day. How did you learn how to kind of manage the roller coaster? Because it's a quick learning curve. Yeah, um, I'll just say, you know, my dad and coaching staff at UCLA, you know, we had it tough there. And, you know, my dad always told me, you know, control what you can control. And you can't control what happened in the past. The only thing you do is keep going forward. Yeah, just uh, keep getting better every day, and then come game time, you know, help my team by making some plays, make some blocks, make a couple catches, and, uh, you know, obviously win the game, so that's what's most important. Yeah, it's, I mean, anytime you're out here and you're healthy enough to play, it's a blessing, so I've been, I've been good. Chance, about the difference between wearing the green dot on the helmet for the first time in Baltimore versus last Saturday night. It, it, a little, uh, little better for you that, that time? Or yeah, I think you, there in that area? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's a that's new, you know. I've like had it in practice, but then when you get in the game, it's a little bit of a different deal. But you know, just trying to take these things that you learn and try to carry them along, so you don't make some of the same mistakes. And you can some of the things that you note or that you kind of take, you know, just think about during the game. Try to bring it over to the next one. And try to keep improving. And you got a lot of reps. I mean, you guys, there's only three inside linebackers up last week, man. Yeah. You and, and Joe, and you guys had a lot of. A lot of snaps, man. Yeah, Joe gave me, and me were, we're getting a good rotation going there, so it's been fun. Appreciate it, Thank you. Thank you.